Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the new Mad Balls Hornhead, Slobulus, and Skullface vinyl figures from Mondo. That's right, these are brand new Mad Balls based on the original Mad Balls now being released by Mondo. I've been pretty excited about these right here, and I'm so happy that they have finally shown up, so let's check them out. As you can see, each of them come in their own square green boxes that have a nice window on the front that showcase the vinyl Madball figure within with the nameplates at the bottom. Really love kind of that green, almost slime-like textured look to the box there with that classic Madballs logo, bright and colorful packaging, which is really, really nice. If you rotate the boxes around to the side, we have great images of the Madball characters within the boxes. And then the back shows you the cross sell with all three Mad Balls to collect them all. So really great little boxes, but let's go ahead and pull these guys outside of the packaging and take a closer look at them. All right, so we've got our Mad Balls outside of their boxes so we can take a closer look at them. Now you can see they look pretty amazing right outside of the box. And if I bring the tape measure in, you can see that they each stand about three and a half inches tall. Now, if you had the original Mad Balls as a kid, you'll probably remember them being kind of a spongy and squishy type material. These are vinyl figures. So these are made of a hard vinyl. They're very hard. There's no give, no squish to them. And they're lightweight because they're hollow, but they feel very nice and quality made. I mean, the, the structure and the overall texture here is really, really nice on these. So if you're familiar with most vinyl figures out there, uh, you'll know what to expect. But it still threw me off just a little bit and that's just because you know I'm used to remembering what the original Mad Balls felt like so when I picked them up I was kind of surprised by how light and hard they are but I think the quality is really really nice on these and the detailing is absolutely amazing basically Mondo took those original designs but they really went crazy with the details I mean look how amazingly detailed these guys are I've got Slobulus here and you can just see how great all of the sculpt work is on this thing just how gruesome it is got that little eye popping out you know that famous eye popping out of the head there the other one bulging out got the little stitches the little bugs crawling all over his head the gross green slime dripping down from his mouth out the seams here oh it's disgusting but in the best kind of way and the paint deco is beautiful on these i mean just look at all those colors how clean it is great amount of shading i think they did a wonderful job capturing those great likenesses of the original mad balls but just really bringing out all of the wonderful sculpted details into these Skullface here is a favorite of mine. Just look at this. Great details. I love how gritty and grimy this guy looks. Got those bright red beady eyes shining out from the, you know, deep skull eyes there. You know, I love the brains that you can kind of see breaking through the top. The metal plate with kind of that rusty color around the screws. That's amazing. Just overall wonderful details. And then we got Hornhead here. He's got that deep purpley color, you know, bulging yellow and red eye there. You got the little uh, ring in his nose, those sharp teeth. Again, great stitching going around there, the horn poking out. So just really, really wonderful details. I think they did a fantastic job with the sculpt and the paint uh, just all the way around on these guys. It's clean, it's crisp, it's got a great amount of detail and shading. And I was really kind of impressed that uh, these guys stand pretty well on their own when you put them on a flat surface. So even though they're round, you can see they are rounded on the bottom. There's no flat bottoms to them. But I guess the sculpt work on there allows them to be able to be posed. Hornhead kind of seems to be the one that gives me the most trouble, but as you can see, I'm balancing them there. I was going to say that I wish that these came with little stands, like something to actually prop them up on. I think that would be nice, but the fact that I can stand them is a huge plus because since these are vinyl figures, you know, a lot of collectors like myself are going to want to be able to put these up on the shelf and not have to worry about them rolling around. So included stands would have been great, but at least we can stand these guys up on the shelves by themselves. 
So unfortunately, I do not have any uh, vintage Mad Balls to do a comparison time with. I really wish I could bring those in to show them, but I no longer own any vintage Mad Balls. But I really do like these. I think these are fantastic. I had a ton of these when I was a kid. I especially remember having Slobulus and Skullface here. Uh, loved them both. Really think Mondo did a great job with these all the way around. Now the price point on these is $20 a piece, which is about on par with what you would expect from most vinyl figures these days, especially when they're highly detailed like this. Uh, and if you buy them as a full set, it's actually a little bit cheaper. You can get three for $55. So they're definitely more meant to be kind of a collectible thing. Definitely not, you know, really meant to be a toy or to be played with. But if you are a longtime fan of Mad Balls, you've long appreciated the sculpts and designs of these guys, I think that you'll really like these guys. And maybe this is something where you just pick out your favorite character. I am definitely anxious to see Mondo tackle some of the other uh, famous Mad Balls. You know, we think about guys like Screaming Mimi and stuff like that. I would love to see that. So really, really cool stuff from Mondo here. So these can still be ordered. It's still a pre-order at the moment uh, through Mondo's website at mondotees.com. So happy hunting, my friends. And hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, leave me a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss out on a review. Until next time, my friends. Yeah.